hi lovelies welcome back to my channel this is avi wade have you seen a beautiful girl lately here is one of them can you see this hair tie on my head would you believe that this hair tie was made from satin this is not a showcase this is not hair tie but from satin this auto girl is wow can you see how beautiful it looks on me now if you want to learn how i achieve this kindly watch this video till the end and before we start hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you see without wasting much of our time let's get started here are the things we need for this um, auto gilly i have a satin this is a very thick satin um i'm just um, going to give it a try you know people usually use um ashoke for auto gele, but i decided to try it with the satin and see if it's going to work so if you are curious like me and you like to see how the outcome is going to be so stay with me so that we can do it together okay and um this is about a uh, one meter one meter i'm going to use this um top bond top bond i believe you all know this if you have spray starch you can as well use it okay then um, my tape and scissors so these are the only things we need for this project um what i'm going to do right now is to try to mix this um top bond with water then put it inside so i'm going to take you along so that you can see the mixture it's not going to be too light just for i just needed something that can make it a little bit hard do you understand so that's what i'm going to do so go with me so i just fetched some water this is the quantity of water i want to use okay not too much so this is okay i wouldn't want it to be too much so that i will not waste my top bond so now i pour the water here i'm going to go ahead and add the top bond inside just put your hand inside water so that it's not going to stick to your hands so once you put your hand inside the water and you put your hand inside the top bond you see it comes out clean <clears throat> you see it comes out clean okay so you can see there's no particular measurement, so just wash with me. And we'll, as you are mixing, ensure that there are no lumps. So we don't need any kind of lumps in it because if there are lumps, it's going to start showing in the um, fabric. So we we'll, don't we'll want that to happen. So you don't want you will not want to tie your gilly and you are seeing some white whitey stuff on it. So. I'm going to make sure I mix it very well till all the lumps disappear. You can see there are no more lumps on it. Maybe I can see add a little. Just little. As you can see, I didn't cut any part of the fabric out yet, so I'm just going to mix everything. So here is the fabric, I'll put it inside. Ensure that it soaks everything as if I'm washing. Okay, you can see see some lumps, so I'll try to wash it or remove them if possible. So as you finish soaking it in the water, you try to see if there are any lumps attaching to the fabric. You just use your hands to remove it and throw it away. We don't need it. Okay. So I'll continue like that. So I'll just go ahead right now and put it in the sun. So as I put it in the sun, I will also try to check. I'm not going to um, squeeze it. I'm just going to put it in the sun like that. I may just drain it like this, then put it directly. So I'm going to put it in the sun right now. So when it dries, we're going to see to continue from there. Yeah, is it? It's already dry. You can see how hard it's looking. Wow. It's just going to, it's hard as in strong. I don't know how you can feel it, but I know what I'm talking about. You can see the way it's even standing. Like, you can see? It's stronger than the way it was when we just, um, before we put it inside the water. So we're going to start now. I'll show you now. Let me take it inside. Here's it, as you can see, very strong. 
okay now anywhere you fold it to is going to remain right there unlike before that it was very soft so and um, one advantage of uh, using this uh, stiffener is that you are not going to be seeing it on it you see it's looking very neat you wouldn't know that they even starch it or use stiffener on this and you are not seeing any rough um, patches or small particles of the white substance on it no because we mix the water very well so everything is neat and clear as you can see it and for the sake of those who do not have a um, sewing machine i'm going to be using my hand to sew this needle and thread so that you will not say oh i don't have a sewing machine how am i going to do that so i'm going to make it very simple so that if you have your needle and thread you can easily buy a needle and thread in the market then you can sew it and rock your own auto gele as well using satin satin is very very cheap unlike um, ashoke that you spend a lot of money to go and buy so with this you can also achieve um, that look, that glowing look that you've always wished to achieve like others, okay? So that's it. So the first thing to do, I'm going to cut out um, two straps, okay? Um, the circumference of the head is um, 22 inches. So what I'm going to cut out, the first one is the one that is going to be down and the next one is one that is going to be on top of it, okay? So the first one that is going to be down, I'm going to cut out um, 20 inches, you know? Since this head circumference is 22, if I cut out the 22, it's going to be too much because I'm still going to attach um, a little feather where I'm, I'm, they're going to use to tie it to the head, okay? So it's better, it's 20 inches, so I'll just place my 20 right here. Okay, here is 20, so I'll use my pin to secure that place. Here is 20. Then I also measure 20, that's 20 by um, 28, okay, 20 by 28, so I will, I will place my pin where the 28 ends, okay, here is 28, so I will add, put the pin there again as well, you see it's very very hard, as in hard. So let me um, locate the 20 here so that I will not make a mistake. Here's my 20. You can as well use chalk, but I don't want um, the mark of chalk to start showing on it. That's why I'm using pin to secure it, okay? So I'll go ahead right now and cut it out. If you know that your hand is not straight, you can place a ruler there so that it will be easy for you. For me, my hand is like a ruler. <laughs> so, this is the first one. I'll set it aside. Then cut the second one. So, the next one, I'm just going to make it 28 by 30. Because um the style that the cl my client gave to me um the, the plating is not so much so i wouldn't want it to be too much so as usual i will use my pin to secure where the measurement ends 28 by 30. you can use 35 you can use 40 depending on what you want so so here are the two pieces you can see one is bigger than the other one so i'm going to take the smaller one i'll start from one edge first of all i'll fold down one of the edge make sure that the shiny side of your fabric is where, where you have outside okay so i'll just fold it down by um half an inch um, like so like i'm doubling it because i wouldn't want this rough edge to be showing then I'll go ahead and tack it with my um, needle and thread, okay? So I'm just tacking like this. You can see the stitching, loose stitch. So I've been able to secure the first line. So what I'm going to do, I'll just continue pleating on top of it. Ensure that this stitching did not show, okay? Ensure that it's not showing. So you're going to just put it on top of it like so 
okay so as you place it you use your pin to secure it i'm just amazed at the way this satin is looking frame can you see it wow you can see the pleats well arranged and equal none is bigger than each other or wider than the other you can see i have about um, seven pleats here you could make less you could make more it's a matter of choice so i have this other one here like this so i'll go ahead right now and iron it first of all after that then i will just tack it okay i've ironed it you can see how firm it's looking you see because of that um, stiffener it's looking very hard just like um, a shoki Okay, so I'll go ahead right now and start tacking it. First of all, remember I tacked the first line already, so I'll remove the pin from the second line. And while tacking, ensure that the thread is not showing out, okay? You're tacking it inside, and uh, I'm not going to tack it completely, so I'll just like tack, 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 like four or five places. Then move to the next line, so I'll continue like that. So let's start. I'm starting from here. You can as well even tack um, two together, mm. but I think it's better to tack one after the other so that it will be easy. You can see I'm tacking it inside and this one is going to cover that part, okay? Here is it, I finished um, stitching and ironing. You can see how nice it's looking and the pleats are equal. Okay, so I'm going to cover this edge and this edge. So I'll cut a little piece. First of all, I'll just um, take the measurements from here to here, like this. I think about 2.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and cut out um, three inches on four because it's going to hold it like this so i'll hold like this and cut out three inches on foot like this this is three inches so i'll cut it out i'm cutting out two pieces of this type so now that i cut it out i'll go ahead and do it like this the make sure that the shiny side is raised out is is facing the fabric like this okay so that when i finish stitching i will do it like this do you understand i can't see sorry i will face the shiny side like this when i'm i'm done stitching it's going to be like this okay so this is what i'm going to do i will locate the midpoint and just hold it within like this like this so i'll stitch it from here to this place then flip it over like this okay so this stitching is not a common one okay this is how to stitch without using a sewing machine i made a video of something like this some time ago maybe last year or thereabout on how to stitch your fabric or your clothes without using a sewing machine so if you don't know how to stitch um in that manner go and watch that video if you don't know how to stitch like a sewing machine go and watch that video but let me just show you a little bit of what i'm talking about you can see where this thread is coming out from right so when i pass my needle from here down you know it's quite thick so it's not possible for me to be um passing the needle twice before bringing it out so this same place where this needle is coming out from is where i'm going to go in the next time okay so that's what i'm talking about it's really hard and for the fact that i stiffen it with my stiffener is kind of very hard so this is it then it will go down from this middle where the other thread is coming out from okay so that's what i i mean by that so let me quickly stitch it and get back to us so you can see i stitched it to this point already the needle is still right here so what i'm going to do next i will ensure that um, i trim off i slant this uh, this uh, flap just a little bit 
so that it will not be too bulky okay something like that okay so now that i stitched it i will just um, secure it right there you can see when you pull it like this you are going to have this uh, something like this you can see how how neat it's looking okay this is how it's going to be so right now i'll go ahead now and cover here so i'll do it like this so i can stitch it i'll fold it in like this so that i can sew it when i'm done i'll pull it out so i'll start my sewing from the edge and sew it down okay so once you stitch to this point the point that you know you can no longer stitch further you just tie it right there so i'm securing it now After that, we try to bring it out like this. So I push in my scissors to bring it out. So this is how it is. Make sure it's flattened up. This is it. Then I will try to stitch this place just a little bit like so like slip stitch if you know how to knit you know what i mean by slip stitch i fold here down fold here down then just take it a little bit so when i get to the end i will just tie it right there don't mind this row edges i'm going to do justice to them later on so this is what we have and see how neat it's looking so i'll go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side with the other um uh, flap okay so let me do it and get back to us i'm repeating this place for the sake of those who did not get it the first time okay after stitching here with the main um pleated piece i held here like this then trimmed off a little bit so that it can have a sharp edge Thereafter, you pull it out like this. Okay. Once it's out like this, we're going to sew this place, but it's going to be inside like inner stitch. Okay. So how do you do that? You press here down like so. This edge, press it inside. Then you turn it out inside out like this see very easy just press this edge this main edge press it inside then flip this one to the reverse side like this then you hold here hold the beginning the edge and start sewing till you get here when you get it just put something here and turn it over so that's exactly what i did the first time so here yeah, i'm done with the first part which is the down one so i'm going to make the one that is going to be on top of it so i'm using the other the wider one so same thing i did i'll fold here down like so and iron it because i'm going to stitch it as well okay so let me just fold it and iron it so I just ironed it down, so I'll leave it like that while I'm stitching. When I'm, I start stitching, I'll stitch everything together. So I'll start my plating again. But this time around, it's just like the way you fold your clothes, your closet. Okay, so I'm not going to... Um, they are not going to be like this, like they are not going to be step, but they are going to be on top of each other, like over each other on the same line. Can you see? They're going to be on the same line this time around. So, and this time it's going to be really bulky and it will be kind of difficult to, to pin. But I'm going to try my best, okay? So, just watch as I do it. So, this time around I'm not going to pleat much. Maybe just like three or there about then. Oh do the other design 
So let me go ahead and continue pleating. When I'm done, I'll show you the outcome, okay? You can see I made only four lines, okay? So they are going to rest on, on top of each other, just like I said earlier on. And um, the other side, these remaining parts, I'm going to use it to make um, a little design. There's a way it is. So I'm just going to hold here like so and bring it down to the edge. Then I'll pin it. So this is not the regular auto delay that you used to know. This is a little bit um, different because my client wants it like that. So just trying to see how I can maneuver it because one was dropping right down there. So let's see what the outcome is going to be Let's stitch it at once okay so i'll pass my needle right from the under and take it to the top gradually okay so it's like this then i'll switch stitch it down again then i'll show you how i'm going to do this please so here is it this is what i was able to achieve from it the second layer i'm going to place it over the first one first of all i'll cover this edge just the way i did to the other one okay i'll cover it i'll cut a piece and cover it both sides then i'll show you the final outcome okay here is it i finished it so this is the first one and this is the second one so this is going to rest directly on this part okay on the last layer so that this stitching will not show i'm going to locate the midpoint of the first one like so here's the midpoint so i'll just put pin there so that i will know yeah Then I'll locate the midpoint of the second one like this. Here's the midpoint, so I'll place it here like this. It rests on this, then I'll try to pin it with it because I'm going to stitch it. I'll just tack it with it, okay? So let me pin it now. Let me just go ahead and stitch it directly my needle so after stitching that point i'll place the other one i'm not going to make it parallel i'm just going to slant it down a little bit like so okay it's going to be rest on the part of it like this so i'll tack here tack here this one is going to go down before it will tie this one in it so you can see i finished attaching it it's looking nice already but this place is uh, frail in the edges since i couldn't uh, sew it because it's going to take me a lot of time to start sewing it so what i'm going to do i'll burn it okay so i'll just light up my candle and try to use the blue flame that's the down part of the of the candle to burn it I finished burning it so you can see that it's no longer frilling so one more last thing um, I just want to add this a little embellishment but there is a little silver embellishment on the front side of it so this is from a dress I think I wanted to use either of these but I think this one is better so I'll go ahead now and just uh, trim it off then place it at the exact part I want it to be I was able to trim out um, these two pieces, so I will go ahead add my glue, then stick it right here. As I'm adding glue, I will also um, stitch it a little bit, okay, because um, I wouldn't want it to fall off so fast. 
so that's why I'll I'll stitch it so allow it to dry a little bit then stitch you can see I'm done with it you can see the embellishment right it's looking very nice so the next thing is to try it out how do we try it out I'm first of all going to put on this my cap because it's for a client not for me so I wouldn't want to wear it directly so that um, my client will not be angry and apart from being angry it's not advisable to start some um, as far as it's going to have a contact with your skin it's not advisable so you need to put on something before trying out someone's uh, clothes or anything okay so this is how i'm going to do it the first flap which is the smaller one the shorter one rather i'll hold it like like this then place it over my hair like so try to arrange it then i'll try to you know the first one has them um, this one up here so i'll try to put it down push it down that one is to use it is to help you cover your hair if you want to cover if you don't want to cover there's a way you can also do it so that it can be open so after that i'll go ahead and tie it like this very firm thereafter just arrange everything inside then take the second one second one and tie it as well same way how does it look looks gorgeous right wow i'm just trying to push in my net backwards so you can see the pleating everything is well arranged but who will believe that this was this is a sad thing you will believe that this was um why am i calling this fascinator this auto gale was made with satin satin can you imagine and you know satin is very cheap not as expensive as or um a showcase so you can easily buy one and make something nice like this for yourself wow i'm so excited hmm. even the embellishment is making it look so wonderful and amazing you see, because of that, um, what's it called? Because of the uh, stiffener, that's why it's standing. You see, ordinarily, satin would just be falling like this. But now, see the way it's standing as if it is a showcase itself or like all those uh, hard gilly. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm so proud of myself. And thank you, Jesus, for giving me the wisdom. Wow, this is nice. This is nice. You know the right thing to do. If you love this video, please give it a big thumbs up. A very big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, you are not helping us. You are not making us happy. Feel free to subscribe. Subscribing is free. You are not paying for subscribing. Please subscribe, okay? So that you can be getting more creative videos like this. The next one I'm going to do is going to be a very wonderful one. And you can see some of you that will say, oh, I was thinking that uh, without sewing machine, I cannot do it. See now, I don't, I did not use sewing machine. I use my hand for everything. Everything. I mean everything. I use my hands, needle and thread to do everything here. And it's so wonderful. I encourage you to do something like this for yourself so I can rock it to church on Sunday as well. Thanks for watching my video. Please stay tuned for more videos because our next video is going to be very wonderful. I love you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.